all right welcome back this is video number eight um, we will be adding calibration uh, code to the unit uh, to configure it from the phone so the changes on the configuration on the phone is um, a new label and this one will be receiving data from the unit uh, with a field name CF for configuration flag and the phone will be sending when that button is pressed it will be sending a command with a field name calibrate and a value of one. Oh man that's not hold on it's, I don't focus so let me just change something real quick here <clears throat> Uh, let me just change the settings really quick on my camera. Uh, let's see, remove that. Okay. Let's keep it like that and continue. Okay, so. Um, Let's get to it. So this is where we left off. All right, that's the code where we left off. Uh, we are going to comment these two lines just to get real-time data. Let me load it to the unit and then I'll show you what we are getting. So this start, it's gonna start going really fast and everything's gonna start populating minus that one, obviously, because we don't have that flag yet. Um, it's downloading and there it is we have uh, you know we have heading is the one at the top pitch and roll the one at the bottom this one right here and we have the calibration so you you can see that the magnetometer is calibrated so three is the maximum number gyro is calibrated system is calibrated acceleration hasn't this one requires three different positions, hold it for a couple seconds, and then they're gonna start calibrating. So, I'm sorry, six different positions, not three. And then they're gonna calibrate. So, because of that, uh, once it's mounted into whatever you're mounting this unit, you can't calibrate it anymore. So, we wanna make sure that uh, on command we can calibrate it and store it, save it in memory. So, when it powers up, we can load it again. Okay, so let's look at the, what the code's going to look like. Uh, so first, <clears throat> uh, we need to declare this new calibration variable. Uh, calibration code. And we'll call it calibrate. Initialize it to zero. We also need a function uh, called enable config. Uh, the unit doesn't allow us to access the calibration uh, registers to read or write unless we're in configuration mode. So uh, we'll, we'll add a function to switch uh, between configuration and the other running uh, settings. And this one's going to have existing code uh, that we already have in a different function. This one in reset. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll move this code and enable config here and move the code down here. Um, after that, what we need to do, let me copy the same comment. I have here uh, inside get data we're gonna handle the calibration here so the majority of the code is gonna be here 90% of it is very small so to calibrate we want to look at the calibrate variable and see if it's flagged to calibrate or if it's set to one and if it is set to one, we reset the unit 
and enable uh, sensor fusion again. Update the flag to two so we can move on to step two. And step two is gonna be a combination of being on step two and having fully calibrated uh, the unit. So first uh, calibrate has to be two and this one calibrate data or calibration data has to be equal to 255 which indicates that all sensors are calibrated. If all sensors are calibrated then we want to enable uh, to config mode uh, read the registered uh, the register the calibration registers and those are uh, from 55 all the way to a6 that's 22 bytes exactly so we'll read the data and what uh, on 55 store it in data and make it 22 bytes and once we read it we can write it to memory to save it for later and we'll write what numbers in data it will be 22 bytes the location will be the size of settings minus uh, 23 bytes because it's zero base this will also allow us to uh, if we want to increase our memory settings buffer it will automatically adjust to move the calibration data to the end of the buffer uh, we also want to create a flag in memory for ourselves <clears throat> to write it just before the calibration data it will be one byte and size of settings minus 24 so we'll write it to one and then when we need to load data we'll check to see if it's set to one if it is then we have good calibration and then we can load it so once we we have it in in memory we can tell the flag that we are done with it by setting it to zero and then enable sensor fusion again so this will handle calibration for us at least saving it into memory and now inside this function we're going to add additional code to load it into the unit from memory whenever this function is execute, executing so it will be here <clears throat> so we want to read memory put it in data one byte and the location is the size minus 24 so we're not reading the calibration yet <clears throat> we want to check to see if we have good calibration first before we read it so we want to say if data zero is equals to one also we want to make sure that calibration is not act is not going on right now so we're not calibrating calibrate uh, is equals to zero so if it's equals to zero we are not calibrating and if that is the case now we can read the calibration data and it will be uh, size of settings minus 20 23 right and we enable config mode write the register it will be same 55 we're going to receive data 22 bytes and then um, that's it uh, <clears throat> we want to use uh, one of these LEDs we'll use this this is a red LED so when we're configuring or when it powers up it will be on until it calibrates once it calibrates it will be off so we will turn it on at the beginning so gpio right pin come on gpio right pin and it will be the red led the port and the pin and the uh, gpio pin set Okay, we'll copy this and reset it. Okay. 
that should be it I believe that's it All right, let me compile make sure I don't have any errors we have seven errors that's a lot of errors why is that let's see Calibrate was not declared. Let's see, is that still an issue? Yeah, why is that complaining? We have it here. Oh, this thing is incorrect. All right. Let's compile again. Okay, zero errors. We go to uh, main CPP and add the required code to handle calibration or to initiate initiate calibration. So here, uh, we'll check to see if uh, the command coming in from the phone, or we need to compare it. Uh, the field is equal to calibrate. If it is, it will give us a zero. And if it is the same field, then you want to say gyro calibrate equals uh, phone value, whatever we're sending in. Okay, uh, we're going to change this as well. Right. Uh, reset. Okay, so we ne whenever we get new data, I will blink the green LED. It's not going to be fast enough, so it will probably be invisible. So we'll set it and reset it. Uh, also, we want to display the data. Send it back to the phone. We said it was going to be CF. Uh, and we go to the end of the line for the comma gyro calibrate okay. let's compile again finish zero errors so let's download to the phone we'll switch the view and uh, you will see the, the the LED come on the red LED this will have a zero because we're not calibrating yet All right. it's downloading Okay, so there's the red LED. This one is zero. And uh, we can calibrate right now, but it's not gonna save it because we haven't pressed this one. So this has to be more than zero. So when we press it, it'll go to one, and then really quickly it'll switch to two. Uh, probably too fast that we're not gonna be able to see it. So let's press on calibrate. So there's the two. All right, so we can start calibrating the accelerate uh, accelerometer. So We'll go to at an angle, 37 degrees, and hold it. There's the one. All right, so when we switch again, it's going to go to zero. There's the zero right there. Let me move it to another angle. Another one. Just hold it there so it doesn't move that much. Okay. Next angle. There's the one again. So in this next one, you're going to go to three. There you go. So that's fully calibrated, and to calibrate the mag, you just move it. There's three, three, three. The light just went off. This went back to zero. So if we did everything correctly, let me remove power. Right? There's nothing updating. Let me plug it back in, and you can see that it went right back to three. And to prove it that it is calibrated, let me move out of it move into this one. This one doesn't have any data. And I'll power up. And now it is calibrated. If I want to calibrate again, I can press this one. You can see it went to two, everything zero, light came on. So since I haven't overridden anything, I can remove it, power back up. And now we have full calibration, right? Obviously, if I really wanted to calibrate, I can press it have a red LED indicating calibration in progress. Hold it at an angle until we get a one. Hold it at an angle so until we get a zero. And then hold it steady for two seconds. 
again steady for two seconds one more we should get a one one more we should get a three there we go we move it fully calibrated again the light went off Add this one back to zero now there's a bug uh, with the way I'm getting the data so let me show you what that bug is so if I go here right and then I switch quickly to this it freezes see there's no more data coming across it's not the phone it's this thing so let me show you what that is and how to fix it so I'm going to switch to the code and let me bring up the file that has that issue HM11 so <clears throat> this line is causing the problem because when we get data and we reset the buffer to zeros if it comes back into it with nothing on it other than a control return or a line feed uh, buffer still zeros so it's going to try to copy nothing into something and that causes an error so it goes in, into an error condition and it never recovers uh, the reason for that is because when you switch between the two you can see the blue LED disconnect uh, flashing and then going to solid so it's disconnecting and reconnecting and when when the phone connects it sends an empty line and that causes the problem so how do you fix that well first we don't use this right so it has a bug uh, when buffer has all zeros uh, we use memcopy and we're going to copy whatever is in buffer uh, the 50 bytes in it or you know we can say size of uh, yeah buffer and that will give us uh, whatever you know this should be size of buffer as well so if buffer changes we won't have issues you know automatically adjust so let's com uh, compile and send it to the phone let me switch the view again <clears throat> and let's see if it works so there we go we're, we're getting data we'll switch go to this one and then switch again and it just goes right there's no no issues so that's pretty much it it's fully calibrated everything works and if i press it now it's asking for calibration if i power off power back on fully calibrated again all right that's all i have so uh, next video uh, will be uh, a series of videos on creating the next unit for receiving the data from this one and once i have that unit i uh, will configure the nrf24 that should be uh, probably 100 lines of code or so, maybe less. We'll see. All right, until next video, enjoy.